Hi guys and welcome back to another Halloween haul. Another one. I'm so glad to be doing this because I've had these for a while and um, I've just been unwell and um, I couldn't film it and they've been sitting here and I really want to put them out and anyway we're finally going to do it. So we'll get right into it. The very first item is the biggest item of the lot um, but it's amazing. Hang on. Shit. Please don't tell me you broke. Please don't tell me you broke. Oh my god. I let it fall. Like, did you hear that? But nothing broke. Nothing broke off it. But there's white stuff. But there's stuff in it. But like, nothing broke. Oh my heart. I thought I had a grip of it. Never again. <laughs> Always lift things with both hands. Oh my god, that is the weirdest thing. It did not break. Some white stuff came out of the pumpkin. You can see it there because it's hollow and it lights up, which I forgot about and I don't have any batteries for it. But um, that is the weirdest thing. It did not break. I don't know if you guys like have any of these type of things from TK Maxx, but they're not the type of things you let fall. Like I've let one thing fall. Um, actually, I didn't let it fall. My dog knocked it over, but it was we were playing with him and he knocked it. Like it totally wasn't his fault, and um, it broke. Um, it's like a witch. It's a witch holding a thing. It's like a, a little like um, cartoon girl witch. And she's holding a thing and it was that the bowl of it that broke and you could see that it was kind of cardboardy it was almost like paper mache but then with like a, like a resin or a something thick to thicken it up um but that broke off anyway and that's something that i keep up in the attic to only bring down a halloween so that it doesn't get any more wrecked than it is but um <laughs> this guy He's pretty soft. I don't know how he didn't break right there. That is amazing. I see nothing. Especially since it fell on his face. Anyway, um, this is him. Amazing. Absolutely love this. I'm pretty sure this has been going around a while and I ne I've never seen it. I'm pretty sure I've never seen it. Um, because if I had have seen it, I definitely would have picked it up. I know the Haunted Bat was on search for it um, for a long time as well as myself and um, she bought it online so it was online at one point you have to keep an eye on the Tika Max site for all of these items to see if they're online because sometimes I search for them um, when I put up my videos and they're not there but then they might just come back you know what I mean they might just appear on it so you have to really keep an eye on the site but anyway here um, he is it's a really lovely little ghost so you can see his feet well one of his one of his foots here um you can see he's walking along um with a very scared face and um then the pumpkin has a kind of i suppose it is a standard kind of jack-o-lantern face but um it's a more of a shock face than um the regular smile that you would see and um he has a nice stalk there and you can see he's lovely and orange and he's shaded a bit and then the inside is painted black um although it's not like the best job ever but i kind of like that with these i feel like it gives a more handmade vintage vibe and um yeah so i'm pretty sure it it is some type of resin. I don't know what these things are made of. I, I don't know things. But um, I let it fall and it survived. I swear to God there's not a mark on it. I don't know how that happened. Um, down here there is a bit of, you see this? This is not a mark. It's just like fluff or something from whatever it was stored in. So you can see I can take it off if I just like scratch it. So I'll probably just clean that off at some point. But yeah, otherwise the ghost, you can see he has that colouring. They kind of um, make this... They kind of put like a brown to make it not look dirty, but just to make it kind of oldy and more vintagey. And then on the bottom we have an on and on button and a place for batteries. I don't have any at the moment, so um I can't show you it lit up. The lighting up is not really something that is major important, majorly important to me. But I think I will be having this um piece outside. So that means um having it lit up will look really really nice um i have kind of a sheltered area in the front of my house that i've kept another thing there as well that a pumpkin that is like solar um 
it's solar basically it's fur outside and it survived so long it's really awesome but anyway and um, here is the price the price was 22.99 i think that's really good because some stuff for like 30 euro on that and i feel like this was one that you would nearly think was 30 euro but um yeah it was 22.99 and um as soon as i saw it, i was like give me that and um yeah I love it so much and I can't wait to pull it out because I think that it's definitely got a certain look that's gonna really make things look really nice but um, I can't believe I let that fall I just can't believe I let that fall and nothing happened to it nothing nothing yeah nothing happened to it like really nothing I, I'm looking out for like um, there's like fluff in the inside of it, it must be in a paintbrush or something oh wait what's that is it like the paper mache? Yeah. Like if you look inside there's like all this kind of like nearly like straw inside of it, but it's like all glued and stuff. I don't know what that is. That's weird. And I can see the light down there then as well. So the light is only gonna light up the pumpkin, I think. Um you can see he's not got um open eyes. Anyway, we'll stop talking about him. There's no cracks or no wanting from that fall, so I'm delighted about that. Um but I can see white bits on the floor, so I think it just came out from the inside. Oh my god, my heart, my actual heart. Anyway, so this item, I think this is the first thing we may have seen, um, is this awesome, awesome cat jar. Now, I have so many jars, guys, I really need to um, sort them out, I really do. And um, now that I've kind of done this haul, I will be able to um, sort them out and like find them places and stuff. But I couldn't pass this up because on its own it just looks lovely but the fact that it's a jar is even better and it's a really really big jar too and um it's really got a really nice like like this is really nice <laughs> it doesn't you don't have to pull that hard to take it off you know sometimes you really have to like pull at them to get it off and um i really hate that because i feel like i'm gonna break it but as you can see a very simple jack-o-lantern face um and it's an orange pumpkin and it's the whole way around and then there is a little black cat with green eyes inside of it and um a little little nose little nose and a little ear <laughs> and then we have the top of the pumpkin just sitting on um his head and it's it's so cute it's really cute and um i I just love it so much. I think it would be very handy maybe for like crafts and stuff or things like that if you weren't going to use it for like an actual cookie jar. So I am thinking of maybe keeping it in here somewhere and putting some crafty things in it. I'm just not too sure yet. Anyway, on the label, there was a label stuck to it and it says spooky ceramic cookie jar and um, it just says wash it first and hand wash it. And not to do anything else with it and that is by the bakehouse co so other jars we have gotten have been the same and this was 12.99 so re a really reasonable price for it especially for the size because it is like about the size of my head it is like a really good jar okay and the last thing for this haul <laughs> um this was something i was on the search for for as long as i remember halloween stuff being in tk maxx i remember seeing this and um when i saw it i gasped and steve loves it as well and it's just it's super super awesome it is a headless horseman it is amazing it is so cool and um i'm so glad to finally have it it was 20 euro so it was that's pricey i have to say i do wish maybe it was more either the 16.99 or even lower than that um well, I suppose the 16.99 was suited a bit more than 20 euro like considering the big one was 22 like yeah it's weird anyway but this is really really gorgeous i think so i do think i do hate that the horse isn't really black it's kind of uh, a grayish color it's almost blue in certain lights so i like i had a half of a mind to paint it but the problem with that is I do quite like the gloss on it and um, I don't know, I'd probably have to get some kind of gloss and I have a, I have a Mod Podge gloss that I, I used and I freaking hated. So like I don't know what good kind of sealant there is out there for something like this. Um, if you guys know of that and let me know but um, yeah, that's the only thing I really don't like about it is just that the horse isn't jet black. Like I want a black black. And um, I did see somebody online, um, they 
I said, Carol, I'm so sorry if I've gotten your name right. I'm so sorry if I got your name right, you know, if I got your name wrong. She was in the Haunted Ghoul group and a few other Halloween groups. She painted hers and painted it black. I can't remember what colour she painted this, but she painted the horseman too and repainted this and made um, there be blood like here or something. But she gave the horse red eyes. I would give the horse red eyes too, I think, because that is what the horseman, to me, is what the horseman, the headless horseman and his horse looks like <laughs> that was very hard but anyway let's talk about this so on the base you can see there is oh wait turn it this way there is three skulls underneath him and a tombstone that says r.i.p is it yes yeah, says r.i.p and then you have the horse and he's what's that called he's bucking or whatever he's going like that, whatever that is and he's got a tail here and um, he's all one solid colour um, yeah I do feel like they could have put in more detail or something you know um, but anyway it's still really nice and then you've got the headless horseman and he's in his uh, is he wearing a suit of armour? I think he is and he's got his sword um, just here and then he's holding the pumpkin um, his pumpkin head um, out and it's just it's so nice it really is like when you like have it sitting somewhere it looks it looks like an amazing piece it really does so um, I can't wait to get that up somewhere now but yeah do um, let me know about painting it and if there's any because if I paint that with acrylic paint it's gonna go matte but I just kind of like the the sheen on it you know I like the kind of official look it has anyway so that is all three items. One of them I nearly killed, but somehow didn't get a mark on it. Amazing. And um, I love every single one of these. I can't wait to find a place for them now. I'm about to film another haul, um, one more haul, and um, that should be up at some point. So keep an eye out for that. Keep subscribed and all. Let me know um, what pieces you guys have been picking up. Let me know what your favorite was out of the three of these because I can't pick a favorite like they're all very different like you have the jar which is obviously uh, has a purpose so that's really good you can put stuff in it but he's, it's so cute because it's a pumpkin and a cat and then you have the headless horseman which is more of like a figure that just looks really cool like sitting on a bookshelf um, making something spooky and then you have the very vintage looking um, ghost with the pumpkin which again a very different feel to the other two but um I love it so much. I just, I don't know. I, could, I can't pick a favorite. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me go know, guys. Oh my God, which one you like the most. I'm going to go now and film the next one. And I will see you in that video. Bye.